A few months ago, we talked about heart monitors and the importance of purchasing reliable and accurate devices. We also talked about the importance of being able to replace the battery in the transmitter yourselves instead of having to return and purchase a new transmitter anytime the battery might die. This month, since we now have our visuals, I wanted to show you some of the heart monitors that I think you may want to consider when you're purchasing heart monitors for your students. I really like the CardioSport line in terms of heart monitors that have transmitters. And the reason is they have great customer service. This first heart monitor from CardioSport is known as the Fusion 10 and it does have digital transmission. You can replace the battery in the transmitter yourselves and it is the lower end of their heart monitors that have digital transmitters. The second one here is the Fusion 30 and it has a few additional features and I would only consider the Fusion 30 if you look at the features, and I'll have a link on the, on the web page for the podcast, but only if you're interested in those features. Lastly is the high end of the cardio sport, and that is the GT5. And it interfaces with a Windows-based computer, not Macintosh, unfortunately, but with a Windows-based computer. And you can download the data and produce a variety of graphs and charts as shown here. The line that I like for uh, heart monitors without transmitters is the Bowflex line. And again, customer service, number one, they are great with customer service. But secondly, it's the only really accurate model that I have found, or manufacturer that I have found, that produces a heart monitor that works without a transmitter. Now they actually produce several models and the two shown here are the ones that I like and notice that the heart monitor requires two fingers to be placed on the heart monitor. Your third finger and your index finger. Now those that require just one finger I have not found to be as accurate. Now we do need more research. I think I mentioned this in a previous broadcast. However, from my own investigation, I have found that these two finger, and that actually there's three points, index, third finger, and your wrist on the, on the wrist that the watch is being worn. So there's three contact points. These are actually very, very accurate and eliminates the need for a transmitter. I especially like these for the younger students.